Look like New York might be grabbing a 3-0 series lead over the Guardians in Cleveland, and that's when the rookie, John Kenzie Noel, steps up against Luke Weaver and absolutely obliterates a hanger. 440, well, 404, whatever. It's a lot. Steve were here, he'd say it's eight miles. That tied the game at five. First rookie in Major League postseason history to hit a game-tying homer in the ninth or later. Here's Rafa Hernandez Brito on the Guardian Spanish radio call. I need more of that man in, in my life immediately. That, they call him Big Christmas and Merry Christmas. David Fry, bottom 10 off Clay Holmes. Who got the vibe as the tribe, y'all? That used to work. They're the Guardians now. His third walk-off homer in Guardians postseason history. And he knew it just like Noel knew it. Incredible scenes in Cleveland. Incredible drama after the Yanks tied it and took the lead in the top of the eighth. It's the Guardians and extras. I think it's just who we are as a team. Like everybody genuinely loves each other and we come to the field excited to play. And it's like, yeah, we got punched in the mouth with the best pitcher in baseball, Manuel Class A. And it's like, you know what, boys, like he picked us up all year. It's time we pick him up, you know? And uh, I mean, there were just so many little moments. There's just so many things that these guys do as a team. They're so tough. Uh, I mean, it's so much fun to be a part of. It was good pitching all night. Amazing defense, obviously led by Hemi, and then clutch hitting. I mean, we Rokio gets the bunt down, like it bunts, bombs, and chaos. That's what we talked about, and uh, yeah, it felt like tonight we got back to that. Storybook postseason for Fry continues. Now the first player in Major League Baseball postseason history to hit multiple go-ahead homers off the bench in a single postseason, turning a 3-2 deficit into a 4-3 lead in Game 4 of the ALDS with Cleveland facing elimination. And tonight, he walks it off in Game 3. We have a final from Game 4 of the National League Championship Series. The Mets won Game 2 to come home 1-1, but this Dodger team had a loud Game 3 victory. And speaking aloud, Shohei Otani over 22 this postseason with the bases empty, and he takes Jose Quintana deep, and he knew it off the bat. What's up, everybody? Dodgers out to an early 1-0 lead. Bottom one, this Mets team has responded all season long. Fastball, Mark Vientos swinging a drive. And City Field roaring as the Mets punch back. He's got a dozen RBI this postseason. That's tied for the most in a single postseason in Mets history. Obligatory grimace shot. 2 0 pitch with two outs and runners on first and second. Tommy Edmund delivers that. And the Dodgers take a lead they would not surrender. The next batter is Kike Hernandez. This dude is built for the big moments here. Francisco Lindor. Nearly stops it, not able to prevent the run from coming in. It's now 3-1, bottom three. Brandon Nemo up with the bases loaded. A ground ball. Can the Dodgers turn it? On the field, they say yes. Mets say, hold on now, let's take a look. I actually wanted to look at both. Is they out at second? Yes. It's close. It's more than neighborhood. But Nemo's safe. So that call is overturned, and the Mets make it 3-2. Yoshinobu Yamamoto hoping to get out of it without further damage, and Wood, this is a hard hit ball. That's a good play at short. Dodgers out of the jam. Top four, Otani with a runner on first. That means he's more dangerous, evidently. We know his numbers with, any, with a runner on have been preposterous. He'll draw the walk, and that brings up Mookie Betts had to throw him something at a 2-0 count, and Betts was waiting on the fastball, and he hammers it, and that brings in a pair, Taylor and Otani, and the Dodgers are up 5-2. Top six, 
Otani at the plate again. We're going to give you nothing. He's on base for bets again. The problem with giving him nothing is if you give this guy something, it might turn into that. Off speed, high and deep. The third homer of this postseason, the most in a single postseason in his very distinguished career. And the Dodgers are flexing muscles. It's seven to two. Bottom six, big spot, bases loaded. Jose Iglesias. Evan Phillips gets him, gives him the gas face after a flyout. Blake Trinan to the pinch hitter. Jesse Winker. It was loud off the bat. But it dies in Betts' glove. After the victory, Betts visiting with Jeff Hassan. Uh, here with Mookie Betts. Mookie, your second career four-hit game in the postseason. After struggling at the beginning of these playoffs, how have you turned it around to find your groove? Uh, a lot of prayer, a lot of work. Uh, I mean, that's really it. And, and my teammates, my teammates really uh, putting confidence in me, believing in me. And uh, I mean, I guess that's it. That's it, really. Yesterday it was the bottom of the lineup. Today it's the top. How important is depth to this lineup? Uh, I mean, I think depth in general is super important. Um, but it, it's really good. You know, our lineup uh, is deep. Our pitching's deep. Play good defense. You know, we got we got a good ball club, and it's just a matter of uh, putting it together every day. Well, you're putting together some great at bats. You guys have 32 walks over the first four games in this series. What does this lineup do to put pressure on the opposing pitchers? Uh, I mean, we're just uh, really good with really good at having a plan and staying diligent to the plan. Um, you know, and whether it's wrong or right, it doesn't really matter. Uh, having a plan is, is uh, super important, and we've done a good job in following it so far. You guys can lock up a World Series appearance tomorrow night. What does this team need to do to close out this series? Uh, just play the game. Just play the game. Don't put any extra pressure. There's already enough as it is. I mean, just come have fun, play the game, uh, come, in, come in tense. We know that they're going to come um, ready for tomorrow, but uh, we are too. We talked last night about the impact of Tani, and it's, it's felt again with that leadoff homer. But, I mean, I said to you as we were getting ready to come on, man, they're flexing their muscles. When you've got bets – behind him and that bat that MVP bat now you're shaking your head what are you supposed to do against that Xavier I, I don't know I mean the discipline that this Dodgers team has shown us all this postseason you look at the 32 walks they've already taken in this series but also the nine walks they took today they're such focused at bats and specifically at the top of the order with Shohei Otani and Mookie Betts five for nine between the two of them five RBIs seven runs what they do is wear pitchers down by getting their pitch they're not going to go outside of their zone they're not going to expand and it's not just those two it's the whole lineup that's now contributing in a major way it's really interesting to me I this I talked to Dave Roberts back in the winter right and this was a team that couldn't do anything about everything people said about them until now they had to get through it and get to the playoffs and then they took some punches man from the Padres I almost wonder like a boxer that survived a round if that's not what freed them up like it's not house money right they got to win a World Series but they don't feel like they don't look like they feel pressure right now do you. It makes sense to me because I look at what they've done from a pitching standpoint. You think about a team that came in with so many question marks with their pitching staff. All of that makes sense because they've been able to get results. They've been able to turn the page and get things done in which we didn't necessarily expect. You look at Freddie Freeman. This is a guy that didn't even play today, and they're still out there producing with the MVP caliber players that right. they have. Everybody has an extreme focus right now. I look at Kike Hernandez, another guy that looks like a postseason guy right now but it's just a part of the plan for them and they're not going outside of their plan from a pitching standpoint defensively they look great and offensively they look uh, otherworldly unfortunately these games keep going so late they're up against me having to say goodbye in a, in a quick 30 seconds for Cleveland to absorb not one but two homers that Classe gives up to who he gave them up to judge and, and stand and to shake that off what's that say to you about the Guardian squad it's an unreal bounce back. It's the ability to attack while you've been knocked out, right? You come back up and you're able to do it with guys that weren't even in the game, first and foremost. You think about David Fry. You think about Noel came into this game. And Bo Naylor, a guy that contributed there in the last inning, guys that hadn't had a whole lot of success, they found a way to get it done in the very last moments. That gives you momentum moving forward, SVP. 
Yeah, two one, two one is a hell of a lot different than three zero, obviously. But what a game that was in Cleveland, Xavier. I appreciate your time. We'll do it again. All right. Appreciate you.